Hello everyone. Today we will have a new lesson about imaging and design for online environment. Photo editing encompasses the processes of altering images, whether they are digital photographs, traditional photochemical photographs, or illustrations. Traditional analog image editing is known as photo retouching. Using tools such as an airbrush to modify photographs or editing illustrations with any traditional art medium. <coughs> Graphic software programs which can be broadly grouped into vector graphics editors raster graphics editors, and 3D modelers are the primary tools with which a user may manipulate, enhance, and transform images. Many image editing programs are also used to render or create computer art from scratch. Let's talk about the basic of image editing. Raster images are stored in a computer in the form of a grid of picture elements or pixels. Vector images such as Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape, and so on are used to create and modify vector images, which are stored as description of lines, busier curves, and text instead of pixels. So here is the difference between raster and vector images. Raster images use many colored pixels or individual building blocks to form a complete image. JPEGs, GIFs, and PNGs are common raster image types. Almost all of the photos found on the web and in print catalogs are raster images. While vector images alternatively allow for more flexibility, constructed using mathematical formulas rather than individual colored blocks, vector file types such as EPS, AI, and PDF are excellent for creating graphics that frequently require resizing. 3D Modeling The 3D modeling or modeling is the process of developing a mathematical representation of any three-dimensional surface of an object via specialized software. The product is called a 3D model it can be displayed as a two-dimensional image through a process called 3D rendering or used in a computer simulation or physical phenomena. The model can also be physically created using 3D printing devices. Let's proceed to image formats. The image formats are JPEG or Joint Photographic Experts Group is a commonly used method of lossy compression for digital images, particularly for those images produced by a digital photography. Next is the PNG or Portable Network Graphics is a raster graphics file format that supports lossless data compression. Another is the GIF or Graphics Interchange Format, a lossless format for image files that supports both animated and static images. BMP or Bitmap is a raster graphics image used to store bitmap digital images. EPS or Encapsulated Postscript Use in vector-based images in Adobe Illustrator. SVG or Scalable Vector Graphics is an XML-based vector image format for two-dimensional graphics with support for interactivity and animation. 
.3ds is one of the file formats used by the Autodesk 3Ds, Max 3D Modeling, Animation, and Rendering Software. .fpx is an exchange format in particular for interoperability between Autodesk products and other digital content creation software. Let's discuss features of image editors. The following are the features of image editors. First, selection. One of the prerequisites for many of the app mentioned below is a method of selecting parts of an image, thus applying a change selectively without affecting the entire picture. Another feature is the marquee tool for selecting rectangular or other regular polygon shape regions. Lasso tool for freehand selection of a region. Magic Wand tool selects objects or regions in the image defined by proximity of color or luminance. Cropping creates a new image by selecting a desired rectangular portion from the image being cropped. The unwanted part of the image is discarded. Image cropping does not reduce the resolution of the area crop. Another feature of image editor is layers, which are analogous to sheets of transparent acetate stacked on top of each other, each capable of being individually positioned, altered, and blended with the layers below, without affecting any of the elements on the other layers. Next, the image size. Resize images in a process often called image scaling, making them larger or smaller. High image resolution cameras can produce large images which are often reduced in size for internet use. Cloning uses the current brush to copy from an image or pattern. It has many uses. One of the most important is to repair problem areas in digital photos. Image orientation. Image editors are capable of altering an image to be rotated in any direction and to any degree. Mirror images can be created and images can be horizontally flipped or vertically plopped. Rotated image usually require cropping afterwards in order to remove the resulting gaps at the image edges. Perspective is the art of drawing solid objects on a two-dimensional surface so as to give the right impression of their height, width, depth, and position in relation to each other when viewed from a particular point. Sharpening and softening. Sharpening makes images clearer. Too much sharpening causes grains on the surface of the image. Softening makes images softer that removes some of the highly visible flaws. Too much causes the image to blur. Saturation is an expression for the relative bandwidth of the visible output from a light source. As saturation increases, colors appear more pure. As saturation decreases, colors appear more washed out. Contrast and brightening. Contrast of images and brighten or darken the image under exposed images can be often be improved by using this feature. Brightening lightens the image so the pure photo brightens up. Brightness is a relative expression of the intensity of the energy output of a visible light source. 
Adjusting contrast means adjusting brightness because they work together to make a better image. Photo manipulation involves transforming or altering a photograph using various methods and techniques to achieve desired results. Some photo manipulations are considered skillful artwork, while others are frowned upon as unethical practices, especially when used to deceive the public, such as hat used for political propaganda or to make a product or person look better. Differences Photo editing signifies the regular process used to enhance photos and to create them. Actual editing simple process also includes some of the regular programs used for editing and expose how to use them. Photo manipulation includes all some simple editing techniques and have some manipulation techniques like Erasing, adding objects, adding some graphical effects, background correction, creating incredible effect, change elements in an image, adding styles, eliminating blemishes from a person's face, and changing the features of a person's body. Let's talk about infographics. Infographics, also known as data visualization, information design, and communication design. It is any graphic that display and explains information, whether that be data or words. When we use them or the term infographics, we're using it as a general term used to describe data presented in a visual way. Infographics are important because they change the way people find and experience stories. Infographics are being used to augment editorial content on the web. It creates a new way of seeing the world of data, and they help communicate complex ideas in a clear and beautiful way. There are types of infographics such as statistical, process flow, and geographic. The process of making infographics are the following. First, research. Know what is needed. Take a reference. Know the audience. Decide the type of infographics. Another process is brainstorm, wherein we need to gather ideas and build thought process. Next is design. Wherein you choose your tool and start designing. Review, wherein cross check the data to deliver flawless output. Launch, to make it viral and share on social network. The best practices when creating infographics are the following maintain a structure, don't use more than three color palettes, typography matters a lot and include source and references. So that's all for the discussion about the imaging and design for online environment. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.